Hello everybody, Georgie B's Cards and Stuff here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Very different card. I don't know if you can see, but it's an acetate card base card. I've used acetate as my card base. Right, to make this card, I've used a stamp set. I know it's retiring. Um, always and forever and all I've done is using this flower and the leaf for the card I have got I've cut out a load of um, bits already I've still got to stamp another flower right I have got a sheet of acetate of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and I scored it a few times at four and one eighth. I don't know if you can see that. But I scored it and I've folded it in half and I've really burnished it. But you'll see me burnishing it quite a few times throughout because the more you open it, it becomes flat again. So I've got that. Then I've got one piece of crumb cake at three inches by five inch I'll go on the front and I've got three of basic white at three inches by five inches um, I'm also using the sprig punch which will cut out a few more white sprigs I've got a scrap of white for the flower I've got to colour in um, I've also used the small butterfly gala which is also retiring and I've punched out two butterflies I've actually punched out loads and put them in my butterfly box these have got to be coloured in and what else have I done oh and a sentiment from just want to say because you can put whatever you want inside if you want to add something and these are from the many many messages dies stamps so I've got that right to get started we're going to emboss the background now first of all we will stamp our flower so it dries so I'm just going to stamp it there even though I've got the dies for the flower I'm going to cut it out by hand because I don't want any white bits around the outside clean this stamp um, yeah I don't want any white bits so I'll just put that to the side while we get on with this don't need them yet don't need that yet right, bringing up scrap oh, use this side right, to do this I've got a mask stamping up mask, the brick wall one and I'm just going to lay that on top of my Crumb cake card. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my embossing buddy. Is that a good dust down? And then I shall lay my mask over the top of it. Like that. And with my Versamark ink, I am going to go in over the top of it and just put as much ink as I can on the card. Making sure it doesn't move. I'm 
just going to lift it up, make sure I've got first mark all over the card stock. And I think I have just a bit more up there. This will get really sticky. Need hot soapy water to clean that up. Alright, that's my brick wall uh, cupboard. Alright, with some white embossing powder. And I'm trying to get a hold of this. Cover it up. Let's get my tweezers. And There we are. All right. Get rid of that. No matter what you put down, you still get bits all over the place. All right, I shall get my heat gun. It's going to be noisy. all heated up. Wait for it to cool down a bit. Different way to do a background. This idea actually for this card came from a Natasha Foot. She's not a Stampin' Up demonstrator. She doesn't use Stampin' Up stamps. And I've been watching a few of her cards and I really love the way she does it so I try and case them using stamping up stuff. And she actually used white ink to do this but my white ink is dried out. I need to get a re-inker for it. So I decided to use embossing powder. Right, now to decorate it we need to stick it on the card so can't really glue on acetate so we're going to use double sided tape on it and use this very often tend to use glue a lot. So this stuff's really sticky. Right, up 
paste in the middle. Now we're going to place this on our acetate and evenly, it's a bit hard when you can't see the edges. I think that's sort of straight. these off glue that down that's our first covering on now these whites because you can see all the tape on the in inside, these are just to cover up this, like that. That's all these whites are for, and you've just got to line it up so that you can't see them on the outside. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to use runner tape rather than double-sided tape only because it's quicker and I'm going to line this up can't see any of that on the outside and we do the same with these on this side so put the runner on this side and do the outside first make sure it's nice and flat and you can't see that and then do the inside as well didn't get that near the edge did I tell I don't use these very often as well. Right. Obviously you want to, if you're going to stamp something inside, then you want to do that before you do this. Now we have our card. Base done. I'm 
and all we've got to do now is decorate this. But first we need to colour in this and these two butterflies before we can go anywhere else. Now on this card I did it all in the dark colours whereas now I've done them in lighter colours so I've got a pink so saffron and this one is purple posy so I'm just going to colour this in and it doesn't matter if I go out on the edge because I'm going to cut it out on the line like that. I've never got the yellow out. Right, dark daffodil delight for the inside. Now with the butterflies I went over the butterflies in blue and this is Seaside spray. And then Night and Navy just around the edge. Been using quite a few butterflies lately. So that's them coloured in. Our next step is to cut out this flower. I mean, when you use the dyes, you're left with a little white border. And I didn't want that. I wanted it right to the line. I know I might be cutting off the line, but that's all right. We'll sort that out in a minute. marker and the brush end I'm just gonna go around the edge remember I always keep the image back so I can see the back the front's there just in case like I slip here and here it's on the back of the image and not the front. There we are. Makes that like it should be. Right now then, 
we can start arranging them. First we need um, dimensionals. Oh, that's not dimensionals. Where's my dimensionals? Oh, here. No. And I'm just putting one on each one. Or in this case, half a one on each one. Using up my edges. And we're going to arrange them like that. And we need some sprigs. So I want three of these white sprigs. See how many I can get out of this scrap. Two, three, yeah. and with these sprigs, I glued leaves on them. So, how many leaves have I got? I've got four leaves. Oh, I've got five leaves. So I'm going to have two with two on. Oops, that's the bottom. And just put that in the middle of the sprig like that. And do the same again with another one. Glue that in the middle, and then this one just glue it on itself. I actually only had four on the other one, that don't matter. Now, these are ex them sprigs, but I just coloured them in with crumb cake and rich raspberry, and I'm just going to split them in half. Like that. So we are going to stick these down first. Right, we're going to stick the yellow one there, the pink one there, and the purple one there. There. I'm just looking at my uh, other card to see where I placed them all. This one up here. And this one was at the side there. And these I glued, well I didn't glue, I actually just placed them in like that, opposite way from what they were before. So I just and I'm going to place them that grab another two that's the wrong way I 
I just think it's a very unusual card. No one would think of using acetate as a um, card base. Right, the last two I'm going to put on their own because I don't want too much hanging off the acetate. Actually, this one I split. That's it like that. And then with the butterflies, I just pop them. hold it down a little while for it to stick to the um, heating bus. And this one, yeah. So what we need now is some gems. Right, I am going to put these on. Just three pink. I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. I've got some pink pearls that I coloured in with um blender pen or blends and then we're going to pop a white pearl on the body of each butterfly. Now I've just got this to add, and what I did do was I cut the rounded bit off, make it straight, and I added it there so it was in line with the card. So we need to put a mini dimensional. Too near the end. Is that enough? Put two on. And a spot of glue there. And then just add that. Just want to say whatever you want to say. And that is our card. Hope you like it. Actually, I do like the lighter colours better. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or share my videos, you're more than welcome to. Um, if you subscribe and press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.